Once again, welcome back to the program. The youth is the future of our generation and a lot of expectations are expected from our younger generation. We have started a new series in which we profile youngsters who have excelled in their schools. Today we'll talk to Chris Zhu, who is from Fleetwood Park Secondary School. Let's welcome Chris Zhu to the program. Welcome to the program. Hi there. Thank you. So Chris, a little bit about yourself. Uh, what did you do in your grade 12 which made you as a you know, favorite for your principal and that's why he selected you and sent you here for an interview? Well, I, I wouldn't say I was a favorite uh, mm -hmm. from the principal, um, but there's very good students all across the board from Plymouth right. Park. Uh, I'm very fortunate to have been selected. Mm -hmm. um, throughout my t grade 12 year, uh, there's several causes that uh, I, I've been very passionate about. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest of those was a club called Reach Out. Okay. Um, so it's a club of about 60 people. Um, and uh, it's a club that I've been running for about two years mm -hmm. and what we do is we not only do we fundraise uh, for different causes which I'll get to in a second we also try to wa raise awareness right. for these causes so so far we've built a school in Sierra Leone um, mm -hmm. we built a water well in in Sierra Leone in the town of McKinley okay. uh, and we currently just completed uh, a two thousand dollar donation towards medical supplies for that same town okay so that's what we do for uh, abroad right now for we, we so what is this reach out club basically mm -hmm. uh, as you said there are 60 members in this right so are you the founder of this or I'm uh, not the founder okay but I've been the president for two years now. right yeah. so again um, what we are finding out is that uh, all across the world there are issues challenges what the public is facing absolutely so when you talk about reaching out are there some specific areas which you are focusing upon or just general things which come to your mind and then you start doing some work for them um, I think for kids and for students who are a little younger just trying to get into social justice mm -hmm. it's not it well it is uh, trying to find their niche what they they're passionate about right so we try to expose the 60 students or uh, our members to as many facets of social justice as possible right so that they can you know find their passion mm -hmm. because you can't really do social justice if you're not passionate about it right, right? so uh, we've done stuff uh, internationally, right, mm -hmm. the, in Africa. We've donated to homeless shelters, food banks, um, locally. Okay. And also we've done lots of seminars, uh, you know, lectures, and that kind of thing, just to the high school students and elementary school uh, students locally, just right. to introduce so what, them to right. the issue. So what kind of awareness are you trying to bring, especially amongst the youngsters? We're, one of the key things is about imbalance and injustice right mm -hmm. so you know why is it that someone you know on the other side of the world uh, is living in such different conditions and right. under such you know different pressures than us right so we, we first we want them to realize that mm -hmm. right and then if they feel that there's something wrong with it then we help them uh, m make a difference right make a change so when you go and talk to the youngsters, especially who are younger to you, mm -hmm. and talk about these issues, what kind of response are you getting and what kind of dent are you being able to make? Because today when we see there is a, it's a topsy-turvy world kind of yes, thing. Yes. When you talk about the environment, the finances, the health, the living conditions of the public, it's really, in, it's in a different uh, system what you're talking about in the third world countries. Right. So what kind of response are you getting and how much dent are you being able to make? Absolutely. So. Um, one of the key issues and key challenges that we face, I think, is just politics in general. Mm -hmm. So, you know, is the money going to what we what we want it to go to, or is you know someone taking a side middleman, right? You know, uh, is the the charity uh, you know spending half their budget on mar marketing mm -hmm. and half their budget actually helping people? So, I think, you know, what that's part of the industry and that's part of what it is. Right. Uh, you have to do your own research mm -hmm. and just focus on the root causes, right? So if you try to do too much, mm -hmm. it's always going to be a lot of bureaucracy, a lot of red tape. But if you, you know, do one school at a time, mm -hmm. one village at a time, then you, you, you make a little difference and then, you know, lots of little differences make up a big difference. So basically just plant the seeds and let it sprout on its own. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. What are your future plans now after doing your 12th? Where are you going and what do you plan to pursue? Um, so far, right, in my life experiences, I've found a passion for, for business mm -hmm. uh, and 
as well for engineering. Um, so right now I'm going to the University of Toronto for, for engineering, uh, but I do plan on either pursuing an MBA afterwards right. or uh, switching to finance or something like that. Um, and uh, the ultimate goal is right now, uh, you know, portfolio manager or something, investment manager. That sounds pretty... So if we go ab ahead about 10 years and see Chris Zhu as a successful businessman or as a portfolio manager, what you're right. talking, what will you give back to the society? Because I've been, you know, like social justice has been such a, mm -hmm. such a big part of my life. I think um, eventually, right, 10 years, one, once I'm well off, mm -hmm. right, and I, I'm able to make a bigger difference then I will go ahead and make that difference. Because I would rather be, you know, able to make a donation of, you know, a bigger amount right. than now where I can only, you know, count the dollars. I'd rather be able to. So make basically it. that'll be in your mind to give back to the society. Whatever you have gained from here needs to be distributed, given back to the society also. Yes. Thank yes. you very much and best wishes for your future endeavors. Perfect. Thank, Thank you very you. much. <laughs>